All right, so it's college life on life's terms, right? Because I, like so many other students in here, is I'm in recovery. In fact, today is my eighth month um, clean date. Um, all right, so who am I? My mother, I'm a college dropout for five years ago, right? I got into um, a meth and heroin addiction, and I dropped out of school because I just couldn't handle it. I was scared that everybody would know, and I wouldn't be good enough. Um, I am super afraid of success. Failure, I can do. I can do that all day long, right? Because that's what I know, and that's what I'm used to. But success is something terrifying and new to me. Um, I'm an employee in our community. I am super busy. I fight for custody of my two children from CPS. So I am, from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., I am cram packed full of stuff and using the buses for transportation. Um, but I'm dedicated, motivated, and determined not only to get my children, but to earn my degree. Uh, I'm here for an ETA in accounting, but I'm thinking about switching that to an ATA in chemical dependency. Um, so, the things that I've learned and enjoyed learning about in this class were employing interdependence. So, Poca Palooza was an event that, being an NA, I've learned that sometimes you just got to step up and be of, be of service, right? Help others. And, uh, I remember Mr. Cameron was asking for volunteers and nobody wanted to do it, so I was like, fine, I, I'll do it, I got you. Um, and then he said modeling, and I was like, oh snap, what did I just get involved in, right? <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. I got to get to know my peers a lot better. I got to know other instructors that I wouldn't have even met without that, right? And I got to learn that interdependence and codependency are so different, right? So interdependence isn't Helping others while helping yourself to achieve your mutual goal, your mutual or separate goals, without doing everything for the other person or for yourself, without um, allowing the capable person to do their own thing. Right? Time management has been a huge issue for me um, in the last eight months. Right? Because I have work, I have school, and I have my my children that I have certain requirements to get. Right? I, I go to drug and alcohol treatment at Agape, and. Um, that's not an option. So the priority matrix was a great tool. And the Wellcast Day Planner. The Wellcast Day Planner shot, showed me where I'm wasting my time. So like when I'm on the bus playing on Facebook, I could be on the bus doing my homework. Um, when I'm at work and I'm just dinking around on my lunch break, I can be doing my homework. Um, the weekly planner, that's something I have to utilize 24-7. 24-7. I have a giant wall calendar, like a desk calendar on my wall at home, and it's color-coded so I know what appointments I have going on and the priority level, right? So orange is always treatment and my children. And um, school is purple, you know, I have these different colors, that way I can look at it and go, okay, that's what I have to pick. Um, my weekly self-assessments, that, that was huge for me, right? Because I get to see my I get to see where I'm accomplishing things, where I'm struggling, and how I can adapt in between, right? My SMART goal was, um, the SMART goal was something I had learned about before, but I never really applied or took in. So this order when that came again, it was like, maybe I should actually utilize this, right? Like, this is something that just keeps kind of getting thrown at me, and I keep kind of brushing it off, like, oh, it's fine, I, I made that. Well, it keeps getting thrown at me for a reason, right? If four different areas of my life are like sparkles, maybe I should take a look at that. <laughs> so um, that was that was something I really enjoyed learning about. Um, the pre and post 64 question assessment was pretty neat, right? So at the beginning of the quarter, I was like, yeah, I got high scores, kind of, it's cool, right? And it's interesting that my high, my three highest and my three lowest were still the same at the end of the quarter, right? My highs were still my highs, my lows were still my lows, but every score had raised substantially. Um, I think they all raised by about 20 to 30 points, and that's pretty awesome, right? So, I like to think of it that my, my weaknesses are not my weaknesses, they're more of a strength now. So my struggles and my improvements, my challenges leading to improvements, right? So, Time management and my 32-day goal. My 32-day goal was not very successful at first, right? 
that I had specified certain days and times that I needed to be studying for schoolwork, but I couldn't commit to the dates and times that I had made in my goal, right? Because either a CPS visit would pop up or a random UA that had to take that time frame or um, just life, right? So then I had to go back to my SMART goal and I had to adapt to life. Right? So I had to decide where I was wasting time and where I could fit in this extra study time. Because I got to the point where balance wasn't there. And instead of balancing work, school, treatment, and all these different responsibilities, I was ready to quit my job because I wanted my schooling more. Um, I have dropped out twice before, once when my dad died in 2010 and once from my addiction in 2012. I wasn't going to do that again. That's not an option. Um, so one of my priorities conflicted, you know, I have CPS and I have school and they're both equally important in my eyes, right? And that's hard to say because how do you put your children as important as school, right? But if I don't go to school, I'm not going to have anything more than a Walgreens job or a Toys R Us job. And that's not going to put my kids where I want them to be, right? That's not going to put my family where I want them to be. Um, I want to show them that they can go to college, they can do great things. Um, so I had to employ interdependence in life, right? I had to ask people for help, ask people for rights. Um, I had to put people in the middle of some things that I didn't want them in the middle of, like my visits, you know? Um, but in the end, it helped me to get to my kids. It helped me to get from my kids to UAs and to job. So it worked out in the end, right? Believing in myself and employing interdependence. Through the skills and lessons I've learned in this class, I was able to apply the skills which we lost on my class for interdependence in order to come up with Recovery 101, the first NA meeting on Olympic College campus. If I hadn't learned to work independently with others, that, was, that wouldn't have been a goal that we had been able to reach. I learned to ask for help from others and see this as a strength because I'll every time before um, asking for help was a weakness and you just didn't do it, right? You figured it out on your own. Um, I get to apply the time management tools like the priority matrix. I'm using that all the time. Where am I wasting time right now? Where am I wasting time? Because I need to make sure that every amount of time that I'm wasting, I turn into something productive. Um, I came to believe that I am capable of accomplishing great things. And a lot of that was through building relationships in this class and being able to be a part of creating this meeting on campus. Um, and I came to believe that success is not to be figured. You know, we have Recovery 101 here on the college campus, and that's a meeting I get to chair. That's a meeting I get to take the area and be responsible for. And uh, it, might be a, it might not be the height of what some people would call success right now, but it's a reality, and that's a success to me. So that's my, uh, my presentation.